Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. Now, Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance is an all right, decent RPG multiplayer game. The only thing I can compare this game to really is the Warhammer Vermintide, and essentially that it's fun, but there's no replayability. Now, as much as I enjoy this game, there's no way, no way I could advertise, get this game at its current price at $59. Like that's, that is ridiculous. Like literally this feels like a $40 game. Like there's no reason why this game should be priced at $60. Now, what's here is decent. You gotta pick between four characters. You go out and do different missions and you get loot. Like literally it's just a looter RPG game. And during the beginning, I was like, Man, maybe I'm gonna really enjoy this game in the long run, even after this review. But honestly, after this review's done, I'm probably gonna go finish it and then I'm never probably gonna play it again, even if they add DLC, because it's just the same thing over and over. And, you know, at first I was like, whatever, you know, the gameplay loop is all right, it's not that bad. The combat's pretty fun. But the more I played it, and I put like 10 hours into this game before I made this review, at the end of it, it's just an all right experience. Honestly, this is like a, a 30, $40 game and you just have fun. You go in, you kill some stuff, you get some loot, you level up and that's it. After I beat this game, there's no reason for me to, to go through and play it again. As open as these levels are, you probably only wanna do the level one time and then that's it. The cinematics are cool, they're really enjoyable. The boss fights, they're just more of the same. They're all just big sponges and you just kill them. Honestly, the gameplay loop is all right. I've only used the archer and all I gotta say is with, with these four characters, pick one class. Cause if not, <laughs> you gonna have a hell of a time. There can only be one person per class, which normally is like whatever, but when there's only four classes, that's a real big issue, honestly. There's a 75% chance if you go online, you won't be able to play as the character that you want. Like, that, come on, man, like, that's ridiculous. Like, there's been several times where I've jumped in a lobby and somebody has the archer and I'm just like, all right, I'm backing out, I'm not doing it. So honestly, if you wanna play as your character, like your one character, which I advise, if you just wanna beat the game, you know, just experience it, just host your own lobbies because there is no server browser. You can't choose to join a specific server, which is something they should have added knowing that there's only four characters and you can only pick one character each. It doesn't make sense why there's no server where you can see, oh, the Archer class is taken or better yet, if you didn't want to put a server, just put only put me in games where I can only pick this character, like, and then have the matchmake system go like, Honestly, it's just a, a coin flip whether you're gonna get into a game that has your character or not. All the characters suck in the beginning. I'm gonna assume they all suck because it's an RPG and they all go through the same thing. You all start at level zero and then you work your way up. The damage and stuff, obviously you're gonna do low damage, you have no gear, but you don't really unlock your combos and special moves until you level up. I honestly wanna say like the first eight or nine levels, probably gonna have to play like five matches before you actually start enjoying the gameplay for what it is when you unlock all these other combos and stuff like that. When it comes down to transmog, uh, there really is not much transmog. The only way to get a transmog is if you've equipped an item like that before. It's random loot, you don't choose what you get, and it's random on what it looks like. Majority of the game I've gone through with the electric cat you see on my character now i've had that hat like since level like eight i've had that hat and i just haven't had another hat that that even comes close when it comes to stats the only way to get really good loot honestly is to play a harder difficulty and the only way to play a harder difficulty is if you are online if you don't want to struggle or anything like that you'll you'll have to play online so all the solo people i really don't advise it it's not going to be that fun honestly if you're on the fence about this game, you probably shouldn't buy it. Not anything special once you get to the dungeons. They might as well just call them missions because it's honestly the same thing. I'm gonna have to give this game our lowest score and give it a two and a half out of five. The only reason why I say it's not just a two because it is enjoyable. It's honestly just overpriced and underwhelming. That's literally it. Overpriced and underwhelming. Get it whenever it's on sale for like 20, 30 bucks. I honestly can see this game being free for PlayStation Plus or being free for PS Now because it's just not worth $60. It's just not. Dungeons and Dragons, Dark Alliance. What do you guys think about it? Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.